Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is really exciting for me because I'm getting a brand new 2020 car. I've never had a brand new car. Even the Jeep that I have right now was, was two years old when I got it. Um, and I was gonna vlog and take you guys car shopping, but like, I sort of already knew what I wanted, so I just thought I'd vlog today. Right now, I currently drive a 2012 Jeep Sahara Unlimited. Unlimited meaning that it has four doors. I love this car to death. It has done me so well, but it is just time for a little bit of an upgrade. So I thought that I would kind of take you guys on a bit of a tour, and we've got a cleaner on out because I got a trader in today. So I hope you're excited. I'm excited. We are getting a new car today, but let's go clean out the old guy. Excuse the dirt. We just had like a really big snowfall. So this is what the inside of the Jeep Wrangler looks like. I really actually liked the front seat. I thought it was a pretty good size. We didn't have like nav, which I really, really wanted, which the new car has like a navigation system, like a screen kind of thing. It was really hard to find something to like mount my phone with. I know they made like a bunch of things, but I ended up just getting this thing. It's like by pop socket and that ended up working really well. Standard little cup holder thing. Um, it has this middle console that is lockable and you can open to like the the big side in there or you can open to the small side there pretty decent like glove box size i'd say the usb thing is in here you have to go like in the glove box there's a usb thing there and a cigarette lighter thing there what i really love about this car though is that we had a little output thing here so I would always charge my phone on this instead of the USB found that it was like a lot faster there is a little like dash thing here where you can sit whatever you want sunglasses gum whatever it's a Jeep obviously so the top comes off it comes off in two pieces at the front so that piece comes off and then that piece comes off you just undo it with these little lever things um, and then the whole back piece is one piece I'll show you so this back window and then the top above like to here of the back window that's all one piece and it comes off it's a jeep so you can take the doors off so this is the back seat i'd say it's decently spacious for a back seat i mean i never sat here very often but this middle seat pretty friggin' uncomfortable kind of like drooped in but i'd say like the back seat is pretty spacious and then of course there's a trunk so to get in there you just open this back little door first and then the windshield goes up and then the trunk is pretty spacious as well i could fit a full-size german shepherd back here so yeah that's basically my 2012 jeep sahara um it did not have any like remote start it didn't have power um or what is it called heated seats or steering wheel or anything i had no no nav no nothing like that but uh it was a really great jeep and um i'm gonna miss it in a way i'm a little a little sad but let's um we, we gotta take all my stuff all my junk out so let's do it She's all empty. Can you guys guess what I got based on what you see? Okay, so this is basically like the newer version of my Jeep that I was saying that I might potentially be getting. But anyways, we didn't get this. I told you guys that already. But this is the inside of it, so much more luxe than what I currently have. Bunch of differences in it that at least I can see. I won't go into detail, but I thought I'd just show you anyways. Obviously, it looks like the exact same as my Jeep from the outside. But if I had gotten this, I probably would have gotten it in white, white on white. But alas, we didn't do that. So this is Paul. 
Hi. Paul is the one that sold me the new car. They don't know what it is yet. Oh, I've that's kept, a surprise. I kept them in suspense the whole oh, time. Oh, good stuff. That's um, beautiful. So we got a little business to do before. Absolutely. We got yep. some papers to sign and, okay. and go from there. And you're driving away in your brand new. We're not going to tell you. I'm excited. Okay, let's <laughs> good do stuff. it. Good stuff. Okay, are you guys ready to see my brand spanking 2020 Jeep Gladiator? Y'all look at this. They put balloons on it. So cute. Oh my goodness. Love. This is it. We did white on white. So it's got the matching sort of top. And um, yeah, should I give you like a 360 maybe? Here it is, here it is. So yeah, this is the Jeep Gladiator. It's their truck that they came out with. Um, this is the Overland edition. So it's like the mid edition, kind of like how my Sahara was like the mid Wrangler. Got a full little truck bed in there. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna do a proper tour probably once I get home, but I just wanted to show you a quick little view of the inside. Full back seat still, which is awesome. Just covering the license plate, but that's the back. It has truck plates. I had, I, I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. I guess it is a truck. I'm gonna have to get like a couple more dogs to fit in here, because we'll fit one, two, three, four. I think we could fit six. Three more dogs, what's three more dogs? Look at the little puppy window on the back. Oh, it's so nice. So you have fuel prices, movie listing, weather, serious traffic. So when you push fuel prices, no matter where you're traveling, if you're in, in the States, Florida, wherever, it's gonna show you the prices of all uh, the gas stations. Also with travel link, movie listings. You can put your backup camera on right now. So you see the back of the dealership. <gasps> so fancy. And when you do put it in reverse, obviously it will come on too. I'm home and I thought it'd be easier to sort of kind of chat once I got home. Um, yeah, this is crazy. I just stopped at the grocery store on the way home. I parked at the back of the parking lot and the whole time I was in there I was so anxious. I just like, I, I guess this is such a large sum of money to spend on a car and I've never done that before so it's like <sighs> a little stressful <laughs> um I thought I'd show you some of the cool stuff that the car does if anything I've aged myself and what I mean when I say that is that this car does so many things that I'm not used to having and I know is pretty standard on a lot of cars so for instance it has the heated steering wheel which we've already talked about it has the heated seats on both sides you can actually control the temperature for each side of the car Oh, crazy um, so you can ch you can change that it will tell you what the temperature is on the inside right there I mean it has navigation it has Wi-Fi hotspot it has um, like the CarPlay thing so, so you can like control Spotify on this my phone's inside it actually has this light right here that if you press it it turns on the light in the bed so when you get out of the car you can just lock it um, as long as the key is on you, you don't actually have to like touch the key. The key just has to be in your pocket or on your person. Um, and then to open it, the same thing. Put your hand in it and it opens. Like that's so nuts. It has like the blind spot thing where if you're driving and that's like illuminated orange, it means it's not safe to switch lanes. That I don't think I'll really ever use. I mean, I probably will, but I don't trust it. <laughs> Um, like I just I'm like no I have to do it myself backup camera like we already talked about it literally has so many USB things like first of all it has USB C it has USB here it has USB here it has two USB in the back seat for the passengers it probably has other things I'm forgetting to say but just on my way home I was like really overwhelmed with all of the things that I kind of had to like be aware of anyways thanks for coming along with me on this journey I'm sure you're gonna see this car in a lot more videos obviously because this is the car now to have I um, I'm really excited about my new car so thanks for watching guys um, let me know what else you would like to see on my channel not doing vlogmas this year but I am gonna try to keep like weekly kind of vlogging like this Should I say goodbye with the truck <laughs> bye guys <laughs>